Now I am going to give you some general instructions which you have to follow for all the experiment that you will be doing in ET lab. So the very first instruction is that you have to wear a proper shoe covering your feet properly so that while performing the experiment you don't get any electric shock. The second instruction is that you should avoid wearing any loose type of clothing. For example, if you are wearing some loose cloth which is hanging around and we have few rotating machinery machines at the AT lab. So unfortunately, if those clothing path gets struck there, so that will be detrimental for your safety. So you should avoid that. Now I'm going to tell you how to make connections. As you can see in my hand, we have this wire part. This part is the bare part, the current carrying part. And this part is an insulating cover around your main conducting part. So while making the connection, we'll be putting only this bare portion of the wire. And how we'll put that? First, we'll try to bend it like this and we'll try to incite in a clockwise direction. So why clockwise direction? Because when we are tightening the screw, we are tightening it in the clockwise direction. So while putting this, we'll put it from the clockwise direction and then we'll tight the, tighten up the screw. And also you have to make sure that while making the connection, no insulation part goes inside the connection. So you have to only enter the bare part of the wire and after making the connection, you have to pull it up a bit to check whether the connection is strong enough or not. You should avoid making any kind of loose connection in this lab. Your every connection should be tight. So and you have to double check it whether your connection is tight enough or not. The next instruction is that when you want to make a long connections, for example, from this point to that point. So sometimes some student has tendency that they will connect two wires like this and then they will take one more wire for example they may take two wires and then they would try to make the connections so we generally don't allow this in the lab instead we always prefer that one single wire to be connected without making any joint reason is that if you make any kind of joint and if you leave it bare so this part is a current carrying part and if you touch some part you may get electric shock so we don't allow this Instead, if you have to make any kind of joint, for example, you have to make a joint here in this. So all those joints are to be made in the terminal itself, not on some other part keeping it bare. So how do we make, so for example, let's say if I want to make this two joint and we would like to put in a terminal. So one of the easiest way is that you put it like this and then follow this clockwise direction and then tight it up. So these two wires are now because you have to sometimes you have to make joints. So we'll make all the joints in any of the terminals. Sometimes here, sometimes we can make a joint in any of the terminal of the measuring instrument. Another point is that you should avoid using long wire which will be hanging around. For example, if you have a if you have a long wire which is hanging around for example let's say this wire was something like this while doing experiment there may be a chance that your hand goes inside and when you are moving will put stress on those lines so those connection may get disturbed so that is why you should ensure that none of those wires are hanging around you keep them nicely on the top of the table so that no wires are hanging around below the table and try to use choose the length of wire judiciously so that that is what exactly you need or maybe slightly longer than what you need. So don't take a wire which is much longer than what you need. So you will get every length of wire in the wire box we have kept. So you take it from there as per your wish and then make the connection.